we're post-race now, so race doesn't exist anymore. It's so untrue. And especially if you think about the creolization of this country, it becomes more and more apparent. In this context right now, that while there are parallels to history, you know, we're, it's not the same. Um, what it means to be mixed race now is like you do, there's like some elements of it that are glorified. Here, this like hybrid of cultures. Ta-da. I feel like most black women portrayed in the media are actually biracial and that has to do so much with like the racism of the media that like so many black women look like white women with like chocolate on them, like milk chocolate, you know, very light skinned black women, you know, with not very black features, um, straight weaves. There's always been TV shows, like you look at the Cosby show, like My Wife and Kids, where both parents are black, yet somehow their kid is clearly mixed race or very light skinned. No one ever comments on that. To me, the beauty of um, blackness is the diversity. Like. My mother is um, dark skinned and I think she's one of the prettiest person I know in the world. I think it is important for mixed people to somewhat, you know, um, be sensitive towards that and be sensitive towards the fact that like, you know, all these other women who are black are not being recognized or being seen as, you know, an I, like the identity of beauty in the black community. The whole standard of beauty thing hasn't really even been on my plate until recently. Just the, the initial sort of like that visceral initial reaction you get when meeting somebody. Like how much is, how much is my non-whiteness a handicap? You know, it's like I'm trying to like expel the threat thing. Like I'm, I'm, I'm trying to let people know visually that I'm not a threat. You'll see a lot more white designers being represented than black designers. Although, the art world does, uh, it does, it does tolerate and it does encourage uh, novelty, you know, uh, which is a good thing, you know, I mean, at least for me, <laughs> because I'm in the art world, you know, and, uh, and being somebody who comes from uh, a multiracial background is, for a lot of people, a novelty, you know, you're this sort of exotic bird or something that, you know, if you get into a museum or something like that, they have you on display for a little while, and then it's off to the next thing. I often second guess when other people say that I'm beautiful, I second guess what they mean by that, um, because it's usually prefaced with something like, you're so unique, I think it means like something else, that I'm like something different. But I don't know, some days I feel super hot, so I think it goes both ways. Well, in one way, I think mixed people, this large group, called mixed people, mixed race folks. I mean, to some, you know, continue to be this symbol of progress. I know I could ignite the people like Obama. I wish I could ignite the people like Obama. I know I should ignite the people like Obama. The people ignite the people like Obama. It, it was sort of encouraging to, to realize, to read his book and realize that, like, you know, his his mother's white, he's born in, or grew up in Hawaii, you know, his father's from Kenya, like, that's, that's awesome, that's really cool, you know? And he's, and he's the president. I really like the fact that some people identify him as mixed. We've got, we've got something in common, me and the president here, you know? You know, I go door to door every day talking to people about politics, and, you know, even though half the time, you know, I'm not specifically talking about pre President Obama, it gets brought up so, so many times. Obama the way that he has experienced, you know, his life in America, given him reason to identify as African American instead. You know, how he's been treated, how people look at him, the assumptions they make when they saw him. If Michelle Obama was white, I don't think people would like that. We're not ready for, like, a non-Christian president, you know? like. <laughs> And there's still plenty of places who, there was one church that refused, like just, was just recently, a church that refused to marry interracial couples. And what it actually initiated was a huge pushback and all of this kind of 
you know, racism that had become, that had kind of been under the surface and not really PC to say out loud before. It's kind of all come to the surface. And I don't know if it's because of platforms like Twitter and Facebook making people a little bit bolder about saying these things. You know how our family has daddy and mommy? And me. Yeah, that's right. A new commercial from Cheerio hit the airwaves and the controversy over what an American family should look like the is growing. You've seen it, the commercial featuring in our this little girl asking her white mom about the health benefits of Cheerios. I mean, there have been changes, but not enough where we can say that we've moved beyond race and racism within the black community and outside of it. In terms of my responsibility, I think it's like engaging in projects like this or, you know, making it a point to like, look at other people's work, you know, other mixed folks' work, hear their experiences, you know, see the, the parallels and see the, the drastic differences. I wouldn't say that there's a responsibility because then that's like saying that if someone doesn't really want to talk about it, then they're being somehow failing which I think is unfair. More like it's my, my right to be able to say like, this is who I am and um, you should try to you know, listen and figure it out and I'll do the same for you. I think it is uh, my responsibility to communicate to other people that it is important to, you know, like go outside of your, you know, comfort zone um, and, you know, make friends in different environments or different cultural background. and. You know, I think that kind of stuff is what is the beauty behind it, is we're becoming more and more open to our differences as we realize how similar we are. <laughs>